Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Beamer Merchant doing another do it yourself video for all you BMW enthusiasts. Today, we're going to focus on how to remove the key tumbler out of the column. This one specifically came out of a 2000 BMW 328i. Tools we're going to use is bobby pin here, needle nose pliers. It's supposed to be like this. You open it up to about an angle shape. There you go, nice L, see how it's straight. At the end here, the reason why I need these uh, pliers is I need to go ahead and create right there at the end and just bend it a little bit so you have like a little hook. So see now, uh, maybe just a little more. Okay. So you go straight, it goes up. What you want to do now is, this is a column. So, spare key. Anytime you're going to remove this tumbler, make sure that the flat surface of the key is towards this insert here. The key has three positions. One, two, and then three. The mistake most people do is, they try to insert this pin like this. Try to push it in. Don't do that. Instead, this is how it should be inserted. Turn the key, okay, good. The, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push this all the way in. Okay, good. Okay, so I pushed it in now. It's in there. Now, let me see, it's got tension on it. Good. Okay, hold it right there. Right there. What I want to do is I'm going to turn the key. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and twist this as well. And as you're turning, same time, be pulling up. Let me see. It's in. Here, there's, I know I'm in a good position because I see tension there. So turning. There you go. Okay, you heard that? Came out. The reason why you want to go ahead and create a little notch at the end of this here is because that little notch, when you're turning it, this is what keeps the tumbler in place here. So as you can see, probably in the video you can see it. As I'm turning it, this part goes in. All right there, maybe you can see it better. See how it goes in? In and out. And that's why um, as I was pulling out, I knew it was in the in the right position because there, there was tension in there. So that's how you remove this tumbler out of this column. And now let's go ahead and show you how to put it back in. First position. This is somewhat tricky. You kind of got to go ahead and turn it. And once you're in that position, it's going to slide itself in. Okay. I think that's the one right there. See if you can focus on everything is flushed, it seems right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, pull back right there. And now with the key in place, just kind of turn it. Oops, sliding. Obviously, if the column was in the car, it's much better because you don't have to worry about. And there you go. Snap back into place. It's flushed with the column. You can pull the key out now. Set position, goes in, and it turns. Okay. So that's how you remove the ignition or the key tumbler out of the column. And as I said before, this process has worked for, for me on the 3 Series, 5 Series, 7 Series. If you have any questions, comments, please let us know. If you need any uh, BMW parts, visit our website posted below. 
Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Take care.